I'm Danielle Kernkamp. Here's what we're tracking this Wednesday morning. Unofficial election results coming into our newsroom this morning show Republican Kevin McCarthy retaining his seat for the 23rd Congressional District, overwhelmingly winning his re-election and beating his challenger Democrat Tatiana Mata with nearly 70% of the votes. Now this comes as no surprise. McCarthy had a stronghold on the district that is predominantly Republican. McCarthy was absent from the local Republican watch party and watched the election from D.C. Mata, who was in Bakersfield watching the results, remained positive, saying this will not stop her from continuing to fight for her community. I, uh, I really had no other options, no other choice. Either that or just keep getting smaller. And our county is, is getting bigger with population. So it's something I had to do, and we'll see how it goes. That was Sheriff Donnie Youngblood you just heard. This morning, voters in Kern County saying no to new sales taxes. Measure I getting voted down with about 67% no's, just 33% voting for the one cent sales tax. Again, those numbers, the unofficial final results. But it wasn't just the county sales tax that was on the ballot. The city of Bakersfield also with the sales tax on the ballot yesterday. Voters also voting that measure down. Measure N only getting about 48% of the vote in favor, 52% voting against the one cent sales tax. For a complete look at all of the unofficial results, head to our website, turn to 23.com. Now let's get a quick check of your midweek forecast here with Josh Sanders. Well, high pressure remains off the eastern Pacific that's drying us out and really giving us these uh, chilly mornings that we've been experiencing. Our air quality staying in that moderate range, unfortunately, 68 and AQI of 68, so the same as it was tomorrow. When it comes to burning restrictions, there's no burning unless you are registered. So over the next 10 days, we're going to stay in those mid to lower 70s throughout the weekend. Looks like 73 expected for Friday night football. 75 looks to be the warmest day on Monday, but then those 70s turning downward next week, lows staying in those 40s and 50s. When it comes to our Kern River Valley, a high of 74. Breezy conditions, and we are going to have a fire watch from Thursday afternoon through the weekend because of how dry it's been in the region and also winds. To Hatchby at 74 degrees uh, today, 68 tomorrow, and then Fraser Park, 67. Windy conditions again, uh, those 60s continuing into Friday. Josh, thank you. That's what's making news this Wednesday morning. Enjoy your day.